It's Max here, and in this video, I'm going to teach you how we can make an Excel ribbon application using VBA. So to get started, you can essentially make your own workbook or use an existing one and open that puppy up. So VBA as a programming language allows you to edit the Excel object model. So anything like uh, rows, columns, uh, cells, sheets, you name it, you can manipulate it. Just how like in JavaScript, you can edit the uh, document object model and the HTML of a web page. So um, I'm going to show you what a finished project project would look like. Um, you have a new tab in your ribbon. And essentially, you've created all these functions that you have access to. And these functions point to an XLA file, which is in some folder on your machine, or let it be a drive if you're working in a business setting. Um, and uh, when you click on this, it will run the function uh, so long as those functions are trusted. Um, so I'm going to teach you how to make your own um, ribbon tab and groups and functions. And let's just get started. So to access the development environment in Excel, to start writing VBA, you have to press Alt F11. And that brings you into this development environment. And as you can see, we have our project manager, and we can see our current workbook. And to write to create a new module and um, essentially the setup in VBA is you have these modules and they contain subroutines. So if we have sub, hey, YouTube, and debug.print, hey, YouTube. And if I press F5 here, it runs the subroutine. And obviously you can see that it prints hey, YouTube to the immediate window. And so um, I've already pre-baked some modules that we can use for our new application. So I'm going to remove this one. But if you wanted to create it manually, you could do it that way via insert. But I'm going to remove No, I don't want to export it. I'm going to insert, um, or I'm going to import from file this module. And this module contains two subroutines. The first one is it deletes any empty rows in the active worksheet. And the second one is it adds three new sheets to the active workbook. And so the first one, I define a couple of variables. I set this variable to the last row in the workbook and or the active worksheet. And then I iterate from the bottom to the top and I delete any rows that are completely empty. And the reason why I delete any um, I delete backwards is because if you were iterating forwards, if you delete row two, Row three now becomes row two. Um, it's hard to explain, but when you um, start iterating and you delete uh, where to delete row two, it messes up the numbering of the rows. So it's better to iterate backwards and delete them that way. Um, so that's how that one works. And we have this other subroutine, add three sheets. I define a couple of variables. I iterate three times and I add a sheet to the active uh, the end of the active workbook. So I'll show you these in action. So I'll press F5 here. Boom. And if you remember, I had only 10 to start with. And now we have three extra sheets. And then, um, for example, let's say, hey, uh, YouTube, hey, YouTube, and yo. Yeah. Um, it's going to, if I run the delete empty um, rows, F5 deleted all the empty rows in between these cells that had text in them. So that's pretty cool, but how do we get them in our ribbon? I'm gonna show you. So as an XLS, XLSX file right now, we can't uh, save this module that we've created. Um, unfortunately, it's a, a macro-free workbook format. So we're gonna file and save as, but instead of XLSX, we're going to save it to this folder that we've created. Uh, make sure to create a folder, drop that Excel workbook in it, make a copy of it, and drop it in here, and file save as Excel A add-in file. And so that will save our module with all the subroutines we created in it. But it's going to default to this C, this folder in the C drive, but we don't want that. I'm going to name this um, YouTube app. I'm going to say save. Sweet. We've saved that. Now, hmm, we go back to 
to our coding environment. Well, we don't need this module anymore. We can remove it. No, I don't want to export it. And all right, we have no more modules. Now, we're going to open up our file explorer. And you can see the XLA, XLA at, um, file is right here. Um, an XLA file doesn't really have a physical form, but when you open it in the background, it'll pop up in this uh, project manager. I'll show you what I mean. So if I double click this, okay, if I double click this, enable macros. So that pop up there was saying, hey, um, are you, do, would you like to trust the modules that are in this XLA file? And I know what modules are in that XLA file because we made it. So yes, I want to trust it. And look at that in our project manager. Our XLA um, file pops up and we still have access to those modules we saved. And so if we were to run them, um, uh, let me go back, F5, they still work. But now let's um, create a new tab to point to those functions. So file, more options, and we can customize our ribbon here. So let's add a new tab and name it um, YouTube application or YouTube. Add. OK. And because we double clicked on the XLA file, if we go to macros, um, since it's active in our project manager, we could get access to these uh, macros. So I'm going to add these. And so the next time, we open a new workbook, right? And we were to have this new tab. Even if we didn't already double click the XLA file, if we click on, if we create like, I'll show you what I mean. So we add these two, I'm gonna make some nice uh, little icons for them. Rename and add, okay. And look, we have a new tab in our ribbon with these uh, two functions. And they point to that XLA file. So if I add three sheets, boom, adds three sheets. Hit delete empty rows, deletes empty rows. So if I were to just exit out of this, right? I don't save. And I were to open like a new um, Excel workbook, right? And if we were to go into the uh, development environment, first of all, this, this uh, ribbon will always stay with us wherever we go, any Excel workbook we open now. Um, you can see that the XLA file natively doesn't pop up. But now, because these functions point to that XLA file, um, that's why we had to double click it before to make sure that we had access to them. So then when we set it up in our ribbon, they point to that XLA file. So when we click this, ready, add three sheets, Okay, here's the last step we'll have to do. But anyway, you click three sheets and it runs the code for us. And if we were to go back, hey, it pops it right into that project manager um, because it says you um, called this function from this XLA file. Now, when it asked me if I should enable macros, it's because we didn't set up, uh, Microsoft doesn't like it when um, you're running macros from a non-trusted location. So we've written that code. We know it's safe. So if we don't want to get that pop-up every time, we go to File, More, Options, um, Trust Center, Trust Center Settings, Trusted Locations. And we're going to add a new location to our trusted locations, and it's going to be that file that houses the XLA file. So in my case, it's YouTube Excel app. I'm gonna say subfolders of this location are also trusted. And I'm gonna say this is the YouTube Excel app. Okay, okay, save. Now, if I were to make a new, another one, completely new workbook, when I run these functions, it's not gonna give me that pop-up anymore because when it points to those functions in that XLA file, it's gonna say, hey, this folder that these functions are in, are it's trusted. So when I press this, it's not gonna give me that pop-up anymore. It's just gonna say, okay, this is a trusted file. These functions are okay to run. And look at that. We have the XLA right in our project manager and 
that's pretty much it if you want to create your own application in your ribbon um, in Excel. Um, if you'd like the link to all this code, I'm going to put a GitHub repository with all the files if you want to run through it step by step yourself. Um, and feel free to contact me um, on Twitter, on my website. Um, I'm very active and hope to see you guys in the next video. Peace.